the New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, where we uh, honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. It's a church alive worth the drive amen or you walk whichever one is is good for you amen we want to welcome all our nbc family all our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio or video amen prepare yourselves to receive god has something for you on a daily basis you know don't exclude yourself include yourself yeah. amen yeah. so praise god just remember that Ooh, he's not finished with you he wants to bless you he wants to encourage you he wants to change you and he wants to correct us, you know, because we got to be on the right on the right road. Amen. On the right way. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way except through me. There's no way other way to the Father except through me. So we want to be right there. Amen. And God's not finished with you. He will, he's got greater plans for you. None of them include defeat. All we need to do is make ourselves available. Yeah. Amen. Make yourself available at all times. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We're going to be talking today about blooming for Jesus. Amen. Bloom for Jesus. And uh, we'll get a little more into that. I've got a nugget I want to read you first. Well, first of all, grab your Bibles. Soldier of God, warrior of God. Amen. Remember, we're warriors, not warriors. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if you're worrying, he says to cast it on him and give it to him. Yes. Why are you still holding on to it? You know, if you pray and given it to him, it says pray, let go and let God. Amen. Give it to him. It's there. Leave it at the cross. You ever heard that? You yes. bring it to the cross, leave it at the cross. Mm -hmm. Don't take it back. You know, I've said it many times. You take all your trash to the dumpster. Yeah. I don't see you bringing it back. Huh. So you bring all your cares, all your worries, whatever. You confess to him, give to him, and leave it there. Amen. Don't take it back. You know why? Because he's got a great plan for you. He's got a great mission for you. He's got a great walk for you today. Yes. And you're going to fulfill it. Amen. Yeah, yeah, Without yeah. bringing all that mess with you. You don't need all that extra weight, all that distraction anymore. Yeah. I've given it. I'm free to go and do what God wants me to do. And he's got something for each and every one of us. Amen. So include yourself. Don't exclude yourself. Woo, let's make this declaration together. Yes. Do you have your sword? I have it. It says, this is my Bible. I am I have what it says I am. I have, excuse me, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I, I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I vote on defense. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Remember, the mind is the battlefield. Yes. Amen. And you're always thinking. The mind is always going. And it could be positive or be, be negative. Yes. Who's got the choice? You've wow. got the choice. Amen. You make the choice. You know, if it's negative, it says renew your mind to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. With the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, keep it positive. Keep it yes. strong. You know, because the enemy is going to put stuff there. Yes. Try to put stuff there to bring you down. That's or somebody, you're going to see somebody and, and they're going to remind you of something negative. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remind you of something in the past. But you know, I'm not in the past anymore. And don't let the past hold you back and be a prisoner of your yeah, past no more. Amen. I want to press on with him. Amen. That's that's a good thing. So today we're going to be talking about bloom where you're planted. Amen. God is planting each and every one of us where he wants us, you know, and sometimes on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Amen. We go somewhere, we go places, we go different different ways. But you know what? I've said it many times, you need to know that you are the body of Christ. You need to know that you are the church. We, you need to know that you're on a mission for Him. Uh -huh. And wherever you happen to be going, you know, you're included. And know that you're bringing Him. The greater one is with you. He says, I'll never leave you, no forsake you. That's it. We might forget about it, but no, He's with you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. You know, worries come, fears come, all these things come and say, wait a minute. I don't receive those things. God is with me. Amen. Or we want to get into something we shouldn't be. But I got a nugget for you that I want to read for you. Amen. As well as a scriptural break. Okay. It says, stir up the gift. When you feel empty, when you don't feel you have the inner resources to do what God has called you to do, the Word of God gives us clear command how to handle those situations in your life. It says, stir up the gift in you, yeah, inside yeah. of you. Yeah. Everything you'll ever need to accomplish what God has called you to do has been placed inside of you. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. But only you can do the stirring up. Yes. Amen. 
you got to stir it up. Mm -hmm. Nobody going to stir it up for you. Mm -hmm. You stir yourself up, and the enemy's going to see to it that he's going to bring all these things against you. Mm -hmm. But only you can do the stirring up. Yes. Faith is in you, power is in you, love is in you, and Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is in you. Yes. Amen. So let's remember these things and keep yourself stirred up. The world is going to bring you down. It's a negative world. Amen. Yeah. And you see Good. things, you read things, you hear things, and all these things are going to pull you down if you let yourself. I said, wait a minute. I, I got to stir myself up. You know, uh, I've said it like this before. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Give yourself a spiritual high on the most high. Amen. Amen. You got to keep yourself this way. Otherwise, other way, the world's going to bring you down. Yes. If you allow yourself. Yeah, yeah. Amen. But you got to stay up. With him, man, that was that was that Lord, was awesome. Amen. I'm about you, but that blessed me. Hallelujah! So, I just wrote it like this: is this the the spring? We're in the spring, and the spring uh, fields, the, the the fields out there, even the deserts have flowers. You know, yeah. and they're blooming. Yeah. Wherever you happen to go, you know, if you have, uh, from the area I'm from, down the river, Rio Rio Grande, you know. <laughs> You, you drive the real grand, you know, the, the road with real grand, and it, man, there's flowers blooming everywhere. And it's beautiful. Cactus have beautiful flowers. Everything, even weeds yes. have flowers. God put them where He wants them. But just remember, what about us? He put He places where He wants us. Just with, just because you don't like where you're at doesn't mean you can't bloom for Him. Yes. You know, we need to surrender ourselves and say, Lord, here I am. You're going to yes. use me. So I'm going to bloom and I'm going to grow where you uh -huh. placed me. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, it's about the attitude. We're going to be talking a little bit in, uh, about attitude. Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, read it to you. It says, bloom where you're planted. Grow and be fruitful for God. God plants, God plants you where he wants you. Mm -hmm. But we need to understand this and accept this. Yeah. We can complain all we want to, you know, like the prodigal son say, hey, dad, I'm old enough. Give me what's mine and I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then he found out he had a crash with the world. Amen. Yeah. And we, 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 we find ourselves in the same situations. What did he do? He finally realized I could do better at dad's house. I can do better with God yes, amen. than with the world. The world don't care about you. They're going to just put you down. And keep you down, Amen. So bloom where you where where you plan it means it may not be where you want to uh, what you want to do. It may not be where you envision or you intended yourself to be, Amen. Still, no matter what may be happening, whatever the situation, the circumstance around you, bloom for Jesus, Amen. I've got some good little. Uh, slides here for you in a few minutes you can be happy you can bloom you can grow no matter where you are or where god has planted you have the right attitude keep going Kirby. check out some of these well this is uh this is going to be our text you can open your bibles there and it's in uh colossians one of my favorite scriptures colossians chapter 3 and verse 20 3 and 24 and you can highlight these you can underline them huh. man just know I'm going to read it to you from the King James and from the Amplified verse 23 says what and whatever ye do do it heartily as to the Lord Amen. and not unto men <clears throat> hey I've got this settled already if I'm going to do something a lot I'm going to do this for you Spend time with him in the morning before you go into the world. Amen. If you go into the world, the world's going to have you cooked. Yeah. Lord, I'm doing this unto, unto you. And verse 24 says, Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Mm -hmm. For ye serve the Lord Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the, the uh, Amplified says, Whatever ye do, whatever, you, excuse me, whatever may be your task mm -hmm. work at it heartily from the soul and something done from for the Lord and not for man yeah. knowing with all certainties that it is from the Lord and not from men 
that you will receive the inheritance, which is the real reward. The, the one whom ye are actually serving is the Lord Christ, the Messiah. That's what the Amplified says. Lord, I'm doing this under you. I've got it settled. If if they're rude, if they don't do whatever you was expecting, still, Lord, I did it under you. Yes. And he's yes. going to bless you. The reward's coming from him because the word of God says so. Yes, yes. Amen. So I've settled this. So no matter no matter what. And now you know what? Uh, another text. Turn to Matthew chapter uh, 20 and verse uh, 28. Again, I'm going to read it to you from uh, the King James and the uh, Amplified. Just to let you know the example that Jesus is. Amen. If Jesus can do it, so can, so can we. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, yeah. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28 says, Even the Son of Man came not to be ministered to unto, but to minister and yes. to give his life a ransom for many. He just didn't come to be ministered to. He came to minister. And yeah. the Amplified says it like this. Just as the Son of Man came not to be waited on, but to serve yes. and to give his life a ransom for many. Yes. Uh, the price paid to set them free. Mm -hmm. He paid the price for us to be free. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're still in bondage, you need to receive it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And accept him as you know the Savior. So whoever's yeah. watching, those of you listening, yeah. if you've been running, it's time to stop running. Yeah. And it's time to receive him as you know the Savior. Amen. Or get into the word, man. Let the word of God set you free. Yes. There's too many negative things out there. Too many negative, oh, too many things happening out there. Yeah, yeah. If you can't comprehend, you need to renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Woo. Man, that blessed me. I don't know about you. Let the word of God set you free. Amen. <laughs> Says have the right attitude. Keep going, Carmen. There we go. <laughs> have the right attitude. How am I going to have the right attitude? And just a little few things here about attitude attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference go to the next one here we go <laughs> bad attitude is like a flat tire mm. you can't go anywhere until you change it mm -hmm. if you got a bad hey, you ever try to meet with Jesus with bad attitude <laughs> <laughs> there's only one problem and you're it <laughs> hey man, we got to get this attitude right before we go anywhere that's why it's so important. You seek you first the kingdom of God. Spend time with him before you go into the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're a representative, if you're a child of God, and you're going out there with a bad attitude, something's wrong with this. Uh -huh. exactly. People is not going to receive anything from you. And the word is not the problem. You're the problem. Yeah. You got to get your attitude right. All right. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> wow. Praise God. Well, here we go again. Attitude. Mm -hmm. Psalms 118, 24. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go there. I want you to see it for yourself. <laughs> and we, we do preach and teach from the Word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Psalms 118, 24. I already know, but uh, I want you to see it for yourself. <laughs> Amen. This is on a daily basis. Oh, Book of Psalms. is a 118. Mm -hmm. 118.24 Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we there? Yeah. Yes. Okay, it tells us this. This is the day. Mm -hmm. I lost it. There it is. This is the, the, the day the Lord has made. It says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We, or you could say, I. Amen. You can scratch the we and say, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Regardless of what the circumstances is. You know, if you start, if you got all these kids, if you're thinking about all these negative things, <coughs> then you got to you know, get them out and know he wants you. He says, I've given you a new day, but I want you to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. But you don't understand. Yeah, I understand. You got to give all those things to him. And let him deal with it. He knows how to deal with it better than you do. Amen. So he didn't want you to be a warrior. <laughs> he wants you to be a warrior for him. Mm -hmm. But you got to give him all that and press on with him. Amen. Pray, let go, and let God. It's very, very easy. Nehemiah 8.10 says this. In, in, the, in, the, in the latter part of it, it says, 
The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Some of us have been sad too long. Mm -hmm. It's time we rejoice. When you know the truth, you're going to be happy and not sad. Amen. Because you got to change the way you're thinking. Amen. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And be joyful. Mm -hmm. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. I'm going to mm -hmm. rejoice, be glad in it. And I thank you that the joy, your joy, is my strength. Yeah. I need this strength to, to press on on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know about you. I'm blessed already. Yeah. <laughs> Proverbs 17, 22. You, these are from the Word of God. Amen. It says, Proverbs 17, 22. says, the joy, the joyful heart is good medicine. But a broken spirit dries up the bones. A joyful heart is good medicine. Amen. This, this medicine we can have is from God. Amen. Keep yourself joyful. Keep yourself happy. If you're allowing the negative things to bring you down, he says, I don't want you to do this. I know how to deal with these things. Cast them on him. You know, cast this. Throw it at him, you know. Don't just give him a little bit. Give it all to him. Amen. So, Again, smile and I frown. <laughs> Child of God. Yes. <laughs> the Apostle Paul, most of his life, a well educated man, uh -huh. but he's full of God. Amen. Amen. Happy and content. Listen, he wrote two thirds of the New Testament okay. while he was in prison. Yes. He spent most of his life in prison mm -hmm. before he was uh, before he was killed. <laughs> The body of Christ, the church. You know, some of us, we, we just had a meeting not too long ago with the Minister Alliance. Mm. I let him know. I teach my congregation. The body of Christ is all of us. Don't allow ourselves to be separated by denominations. Mm. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere in the Bible does it talk denominations. Yes, yes. Amen. It's the body of Christ. Okay? We try to separate ourselves. We can't divide ourselves. Mm, yes, yes. Divide is not from God. Amen. Mm -hmm. We are the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. All of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I got brothers that are Catholics. I got brothers that are Episcopals. Uh, 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 Presbyterians. Methodists. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not. So we're not divided by denominations. The body of Christ believes who have confessed Jesus are believers who have confessed Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. If you've confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, amen, you're part of the body of Christ. Amen. amen. And we're, we're going to be talking about the, the body, the physical body, has many parts, but they all function in unity. Mm -hmm. I mean, your physical body doesn't fight. They don't fight against each other. All these parts, inner parts, outer parts, they all function in, in <laughs> unity. Thank God they're not fighting each other. Let's hope so. Amen. We're in unity. We're in, we're in unity. First Corinthians 12, uh, 7, uh, 27 through 31. Listen, listen to this. You are Christ's body. Mm -hmm. That's who you are. And we have to know this. You're part of it. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. You're mm -hmm. part of the body of Christ. You've confessed to me as you Lord and Savior. Amen. So I'm a part of this. You're, you, you, God's got a plan for you. God's got something for you. Big or small, it doesn't matter. For the world it does. They only want big things. They don't want little things. But if you're doing something big or small for Jesus, I'm doing it under you, Lord. Yes. He's still going to bless you. you got a reward coming. Amen. We don't compete in the body of Christ. We complete one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. We complete one another. And it goes on to say, you must never forget this. Only as you accept your part of the body does your part mean anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just think if all these parts of here in my physical oh. body was fighting each other. Oh. The little toe is always crying out. You know, mm -hmm. you know you too, too small. You just hush up. Don't say nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't compete in the body of Christ. Big or small, we complete one another. We yes. fulfill and we work in unity. Amen. See that. Understand it. It says, only as you accept your part of that body does your part mean anything to you. Yeah. It means a lot to him. 
when you accept your part, it's going to mean a lot to you. I'm doing it unto him. Well, what is it that you do? Well, this is what I do. Is that all you do? The world coming in, competing immediately. This is what I do? Yeah. It's okay. I'm at peace with it. And he's at peace with it. And I'm getting blessed for it. Amen? Yeah. Let's remember that. You're familiar with some of the parts God has given his church. His church. He's talking about the church. He's talking about the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Us. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. Not this building. This is where we assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. When we come together to encourage one another. Build each other up. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So we can go and do what God wants us to do. Which is his body. Some of his gifts. Some of the gifts he's given. Some of the parts here. Apostle. Prophet. Teacher. Miracle workers. Healers. Helpers. Organizers. Those who pray in tongues. Christ's church is a complete yes, body. Yes. Amen. Christ's church is a complete body. Mm -hmm. Just remember this. The enemy knows this. And he tries to fight this. Yes. So he tries to bring competition into it. Mm -hmm. And he tries to bring division into it. So know your part and know this yes. because the enemy is going to be busy yes. trying to bring you down. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know what I do is not good enough. Mm -hmm. You think those things. It's the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. And those things cross your mind. I ain't doing enough. Believe me, you're doing it. And thank you for all of you that do something. Amen. Thank God. He just didn't call us to sit and do nothing. He wants us to do something. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Uh, it says and some of you keep competing for so called important parts every part is important once you settle this and receive your part your part is important don't let nobody talk you different or tell you different amen <laughs> it's not about competing it's about completing mm -hmm. amen it's about being nice and being kind and helping one another you see your brother down, see your sister down, pray for them, lift them up, be kind to them, say a kind word to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. That is what it's all about. Amen. God set you. God set you. He gifted you. Do your best to honor Him. Mm -hmm. Remember, Jesus came to serve, yes. not to be served. Mm -hmm. So how do we honor Him? We serve Him. And we serve, we serve people. Amen. You know how you, I've told you this before. You know how you spell ministry? Mm. It's how you spell ministry. P E O P L E. Mm -hmm. People. Everywhere you go is there's people. Yeah. Amen. So you can't get, get away from them. <laughs> so wherever you go, I'm ministering unto the Lord. Amen. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Mm -hmm. And you got some nice people and you got some rude people. Still. Jesus went through the same thing. Jesus went through the same thing. He said, I, well, I've been through it, and you'll go through it also. But know this, I am with you. And know this, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Man, hallelujah. Uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 12, uh, 18 says, God set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. Yes. But our body has many parts. And God has put, it, put each part just where he wants it. Uh -huh. God's got me where he wants me. Mm. God's got you where he wants you. Settle this. So you don't be busy mm. wanting to be somewhere else. You know, the grass is greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. I'm just settle this. I'm just where God wants me to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God put those parts where he wanted in a place where yeah. uh, he made a place for each one. God put every different part in the body just as he wanted it to be. Amen. I'm glad my eyes ain't somewhere else. <laughs> or my ears somewhere else. Or my head somewhere else. You look funny. <laughs> he made me just the way I want to be. And you know what? You're beautiful. You're handsome. Say that for yourself. Regardless of what people say. Or people do. Or people don't say. Amen. Know this for yourself. Because if it's a trip, the enemy is going to use it. And be a distraction to you. Amen. Praise God. Let me see what else you got coming. Here we go. Bloom where you're a planter. We're going to be talking about this. 
-hmm. says be yourself be the original God made you to be don't try to copy be a copy originals are better than a copy yeah. he didn't make you to be a copy That's he made good. you to be an original amen you're an original God made you that way there's no one else like you That's it. man praise God thank you Lord you're a blessing. You're a blessing. Be a blessing wherever you go. Yeah. So now we're back to, and you're going to hear this many times. <laughs> Bloom where you're planting. Mm -hmm. If we talked about the, the fields out there, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you know there's flowers blooming everywhere. I just go, gave you some slides here. This flower is on these steps or these boards. <laughs> and these things, are, you know, wherever the seed falls, uh -huh. it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. and, and and that flower is growing right there. Right. Do you see a bloom on there? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's blooming. They're not complaining. Mm -hmm. See, I want to be in the fields. I want to be over there with all the others, you know. No. It's blooming just where God placed it. Amen. Amen. And that's what you are. Mm -hmm. Just bloom wherever God has placed you. Mm -hmm. Quit wrestling with it, you know. Yes. Quit yes. fighting it. Because the enemy is going to keep you busy fighting this all the time yeah. until you settle this and accept your part. You see this? It says bloom where you plant it and this little flower is just blooming and it looks beautiful. You mean why? Because God planted it there. Keep going. Here's another one. <laughs> Grow or bloom where you plant it. It's in a I don't know. It's, a, it's not a good place. You know, no. this is not the place I want to be, God. <laughs> I want to be somewhere else. You know, some brother so and so and right. sister so and so, they live over here and they're doing this. And, and we're not being the original mm. God made us to be. We want to mm -hmm. compete and be a copy of somebody else. Mm. You don't have to. You see a bloom? It's beautiful. Regardless of where it's at. Mm. Lord, I'm, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. I'm here to serve you. I'm going to be what you want me to be. Amen. Man, keep going. That's not all. <laughs> it says, use the gift you have. Mm -hmm. If it is so to be encouraged, then give encouragement. If it is to give, if it, if it is in giving, then give generously. Yes. If it is to lead, then do it so diligently. Mm -hmm. And if it's to show mercy, then do it cheerfully. Mm -hmm. But you know, That's do it do it. You yeah. know. Don't don't do it in a hateful way. Do it in a godly way. Yeah. Keep going. That's uh Romans 12 mm -hmm. Says don't worry about where others may be. <laughs> oh boy. If if you ain't settled it, you're gonna be you're gonna be worried about it because you know hey they're in a better place than me. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're not going to be have peace about it. There's a specific plan for you. You are where you are for a reason. Yeah. Focus on God's word. Be fruitful. Multiply. Bloom. For God has planted you. Mm -hmm. Man, that's, that's awesome. Yes, it is. Amen. Wherever it may be. And uh, praise God. That's that's good. Keep, mm -hmm. keep going, Thank you, Lord. Wherever you are, God put you there for a reason. So what? Bloom in big words so you can see it. <laughs> you are there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Bloom where you are planted. We got to get this on a daily basis. I'm going to bloom for Jesus. Man, you can write that somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. and just remind yourself, I'm going to be a blessing for God. I'm going to bloom for God on a daily basis. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Too many people live negative and discouraged because they don't like where they are. Oh boy. Yeah. They don't like their jobs, careers. Oh, they spend a lifetime doing a job they never liked. Mm -hmm. And they retired from a job they never liked. And some start a second career mm -hmm. and like it better. I should have done this the first time. Yeah. Because they never thought about changing. Right. And they uh -huh. never gave God a place. Uh -huh. Amen. Once you let God in, you know, you'll find out. What he wants you to do it could have been something just simple. Mm -hmm. They don't like where they are in life. They're not where they want to be. Always complain, always competing, and always complaining, always oh. fighting, being negative, complaining against something, always wanting to be somewhere else and doing something else. 
You know, you see somebody else doing whatever, you say, oh, I should be doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, and the enemy sees this. And remember, death and life are in the power, uh, power of the tongue. Yes. Death and life are in the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So if you're speaking these things, the enemy yeah. hears it, and you open the door for the enemy to come in yes. and yeah. use this against you each and every time. Uh -huh. Amen. He's going to bring it to you. Can't wait till everything gets better before you have a winning or a good or positive or right attitude. Mm -hmm. No, you can have that on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. I've said this. Starts here. <laughs> he paid the price. And I've got a price I can't pay. And Lord, I'm going to do this under you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Regardless. And, and not only that, he says, the Lord has given me a new day. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Yeah. I'm God. And I want you to go and have a great time. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. Amen. You gotta make you gotta make this decision. Yes. Be the best you can be where you are now. Put a smile on your face. Give a frown a uh, break. Mm -hmm. Be good, be kind, even if they're not good. No oh, boy. Amen. You can be the best you can be. They did it unto Jesus. They're going to do it unto you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to find people like this everywhere you go. Yeah, Still shouldn't change your attitude. Mm -hmm. If you're not serving him first and got your mind made up, they can bring you down fast. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because the battlefield is a mind. Yeah, mind. Amen. And if you don't renew your mind, mm -hmm. you're going to fall and you're going to let them mm -hmm. have it. <laughs> Instead of blessing them, mm -hmm. you're going to do something else. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so <clears throat> be grateful where you are living even if it's not where you want to be so nothing in life happens to us but it nothing in life happens to us but it happens for us mm -hmm. amen and we're growing remember we're maturing on a daily basis mature in the right way mature yeah. for him <clears throat> amen praise God when things happen to us Instead of having a bad attitude or negative attitude or complaining, have the God yeah. kind of attitude, yeah. Right? Yeah. a good attitude about it. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Our attitude should be, Lord Jesus it says, says, Lord, I may not like this, but I know I'm here in your divine plan. Mm -hmm. Amen. You think uh, Daniel... <laughs> Felt good being in the lion's den? Mm. Or no, being in the belly of a whale or a fish? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. The little Hebrew children, you know, in, 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 in the fire furnace? Mm. No, but you know, they had already had that, the right attitude. Mm. And they knew they were serving him, and yet they knew God was with them. Mm. And God brought them through. Yes, he did. And we, he do, he, he, he do the same for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. He'll bring us through. Even though you walk through the valley of shadow death, he says, you're going to press through. Mm -hmm. We're not stopping. We're pressing through. Mm -hmm. Amen. The storms of life come, but guess what? Hey, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to the other side. Why? Yes. Because God is with me. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what is happening around me. Amen. Greater is he that's in me mm -hmm. than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. <laughs> get the word in you so you can speak it out yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that's what the enemy don't want to hear mm -hmm. <laughs> you would not <clears throat> you would not have allowed it unless you would get something from it it may not feel good but it's allowing me to grow mature be all you can be amen and be complete in him we tend to fight against anything and everything that doesn't go our way. Settle it down. You know, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Remember Colossians, write it down somewhere and have it in different places. Yes, amen. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Wherever you wherever you go. Bloom where you planted. Where you planted. Sow a seed of kindness for God to do something new in your life or to someone else. Brighten up somebody's day. Be a blessing. Amen. And I thank you because a lot of you have been a blessing to us. And we appreciate that. Amen. But you can, you can just keep on doing this. Because God is with you. And everywhere you go, you know, you be, you be kind. And you're sowing this uh, seed of, of kindness. And people see this. They may not say nothing. 
but you minister and you sow the seed, a good seed. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for you to fall and do something wrong. Yeah. And then they'll wake up and they'll say, I thought you was. Yeah. I thought you was nice. I thought you was a Christian. I thought you was enjoying this. <laughs> Be God's best where you are yeah. now on the way to where you're going. That's it. I mean, wherever you happen to be, where you travel or you go on a daily basis. Amen. It says, uh -huh. be as best you are in that, where you are now on the way to where you're going and where I'm going. I'm going for Him. I'm doing this for Him. Amen. And every time you forget or if, some, if somebody try to knock you down, yeah. I've said it this way many times. Don't let anybody steal your peace. Right. Amen. Don't let anybody bring you into their storm. Mm -hmm. You bring them into your peace. Your peace. Amen. Amen. But they're going to try. Mm -hmm. And the enemy's going to see to it. Man, how did I get into this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just happen to be there. But you know what? Just bring the peace. The peace is in you. Amen. And give your peace. And Amen. give your, your blessing. <laughs> Put on a smile on your face. Mm. Put a pep in your step. <laughs> Get the stepping, get the pepping and stepping for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, I, I wrote this. Uh, remember the pep rallies? Oh, so yeah. the pep rallies. You may be, you may have, bless you. You may have the worst record, but I guarantee you, when you went to a pep rally, man, you were ready to tear somebody up. You were ready to beat somebody. And you got to give yourself some pep rallies with Jesus on a daily basis before you go anywhere. And if you're going to beat up anybody, you're going to beat up the devil. Mm, amen. Because the devil sees this and hears this, and he's going to want to run. Mm. He said, when I walk up this door, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Just give yourself. Stir, this is The pep rally is stirring yourself up. Mm. Stir yourself up. Jesus teamwork, listen, Jesus team <coughs> never loses. <coughs> you are Jesus winning team. Yes. And Jesus, the team, the word team stands for together, everyone achieves more. Yes. Everyone accomplishes mm -hmm. more. When we're doing this together, we're accomplishing more. Yeah. When we, we're doing it under Him. And we're in a team. We're not individuals. There's no eyes in the word team. That's it. Amen. So we're doing this together. Amen. Amen. Being loving, even when they're unlovable. Oh. We all know some. We all been around some. <laughs> Be good, even when they're not good. Mm. Be kind, even when they're rude. Mm, boy. Amen. You think, everybody, you think everybody was nice to Jesus? No. One week they received him as king of kings. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. They bowed. Oh, and the next week they crucified him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you think Jesus is a wimp. He's not. No. Man, he's our greatest example. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And listen, Jesus wept, so I cry all the time. And that's okay. No, I'm a good company. Mm -hmm. Jesus Jesus wept. Jesus. Be grateful where you live. Even if it's not where you want to be. Uh -huh. Having an attitude of gratitude. Having yeah. an attitude of thankfulness. Yeah. Having an attitude of appreciation. Yeah. Having an attitude of, of gratefulness. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. If you don't know what else to say, just Lord, thank you yeah. for this day. He says, I've given you a new day. I've given you a wake-up call. Thank mm -hmm. God the two miracles you first see are your eyes opening <laughs> that was a miracle you know why you woke up and you're still here because he's not finished with you he still got plans for you he still got things for you to do but you got to stay connected to the head he's the head we're the body yes and we get orders from him amen? amen so stay connected to him don't disconnect stay connected to the vine amen He's the vine and we're the branches. Mm -hmm. Nothing in life just happens to us but for okay. us. Keep the right attitude. Because the Lord guides and provides yes. for us. Amen. We're not going to finish all this. <laughs> Again, I'll uh, just uh, 
remind you of this and then we'll, we're going to be closing but first Peter 5 7 says this cast all cares on him that person is hard to get along with Lord help me <laughs> I can't deal with this but uh, through you I can <laughs> amen he's not happening to you but he's happening for you God is using them to grow you up <laughs> <laughs> you're not developing it says you are developing character mm -hmm. basically I am maturing spiritually Amen. Amen. <laughs> get out of the flesh and get in the spirit Amen. and start growing and going for God yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. get out of the flesh mm -hmm. renew your mind Amen. and get in the spirit Amen. Right. remember we fight a spiritual battle yes. Yes, yes. it's not about the flesh if you're fighting this spiritual battle with the flesh you lose we gotta get in the word we gotta get in the spirit to fight the spiritual battle but we have he's given us everything we need amen so praise god learn to be christ-like walking in his love when you walk in god's love you're walking in his agape love agape love that's the highest love you can have you're walking in his love and his compassion when you get yourself filled with him and start hunger and thirsting for more of him, you're going to start walking in his love, his compassion, and you're going to see people through his eyes. Yes. And not our just uh, sight. Mm -hmm. You know, we walk by faith, not by sight, mm -hmm. you know. And you see a problem or you see something wrong. See him through his eyes. Mm -hmm. He wants to use you to get him right. We're ministers of reconciliation, bringing the lost into God's kingdom. And he uses his body. We're the body. He's using, amen. And I'll close with this uh, scripture here. It says, Ephesians 1, you can write this down, Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. He says, walk in love, walk in his agape love. Amen. Therefore, he says, be imitators of Christ as dear children, walking in love as Christ also loved us and given himself for us mm -hmm. an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma mm -hmm. so be imitators of Christ I mean we want to copy each and everything you know but still the Bible tells us to be imitators mm -hmm. of Christ who are we going to imitate mm -hmm. who's the greatest hero who's your role model mm -hmm. Jesus is my role model mm -hmm. amen and I want to love walk in love his love his agape love and his compassion to see people the way he sees them. Not just as losers, not just as down and out and not be rude to them, but say something nice, something kind, you know. Every time somebody came to him, he'd just say, I ain't got time for you right now. I'm busy. I'm ministering. Uh -huh. No, he made time for them. You know, even when they came and told him that pray for Lazarus or pray for this child that's dead. He made time and he went. You know what? He, he went into that house and he got all the negative people out of there first. Yes. See, get out of here. And then he went and ministered to his house. She, she's only sleeping. That's okay. <laughs> yes. We got a prayer request. Yes. John John's dad. He's going to take him off and take off life support. Huh? Mark says dad. He's yeah. going to take him off of uh, life support. So pray. She wants us to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just lift up. Uh, John John stand to you right now, Father God. Touch him, Father. You know him. You know him, Father God. And we just pray that you touch him, Lord. If it's time to go, Lord, we just thank you for a homegoing celebration right now, yes. Father God. If, it, if it's not, Father, we just pray total healing Lord, in his body right now. In Jesus' precious name, Lord. Bless the, the, the family, Lord, and give them the strength they need right now, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 So praise God. Be imitators of God. We need to write this down on a daily basis so we can see it. Who are we imitating? Who are we going to serve? Who are we going to please? We're going to please Him. Amen? Yes. So I'll close with that. Did you get anything? Yes. <laughs> did you receive anything? Yes. <laughs> if you didn't, I did. <laughs> yes. Father, we just thank you for this time, Father, as we grow in your word and help us, Lord, to be hungry and thirsty for more of you and to grow and uh, seek you as our role model, Father God. And we thank you that we can do all things through you. He strengthens us, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Some of you watching, some of you listening, 
never accepted Christ. You just heard a message. God wants you. Amen. He, he sacrificed his son for you. Amen. Jesus came and gave his life to you. So it's time you quit running. And it's time you come to him. All you have to do is say, Fine. I, I, Jesus, I've sinned against you. Uh, I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he's not going to reject you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like people have been telling you. Or what the enemy lies the enemy's been telling you. Mm -hmm. But he's going to accept you and bring you into his kingdom. All we need to do now is get in a Bible-based church where we can learn the word of God. And get in his word. Open the Bible. Start reading it. So we can start growing and going for him. Amen. And you can Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Yeah, so amen. it's time we change turn this around and change it and start going for him. Amen. amen. So praise God. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, Bible says by Jesus Christ will heal. And that's what the word of God says. So I pray over myself all the time. And I say, hey, body, I don't accept malfunctions in this body because Jesus. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. So everything, every organ, every tissue, every muscle, everything of this body functioning the, in the perfection, God created it to function. So I speak healing over my body, and I receive my healing. Amen. Receive it. Amen. You, most of us, have never received it. I receive healing in my body right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So praise God. Be free. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Time to give. Uh, you can go to the website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, cash, or you can do it given by Cash App. You can go to uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So praise God. God loves you. We love you. And have a blessed day. Amen. Praise God.